Michigan's Republican primary is just five days out. And one of the 10 Republicans who voted to impeach former President Donald Trump says he's leading an effort here in Michigan, encouraging people to vote for a, quote, pro-democracy Republicans. News 8's Byron Tollefson spoke with Congressman Adam Kinzinger about his campaign in Michigan. Illinois Congressman Adam Kinzinger has been in the national spotlight ever since voting to impeach former President Donald Trump. He is now part of the January 6th committee. He's not running for re-election, but he has found a new purpose outside Congress. January 6th was the turning point for Congressman Adam Kinsinger. We don't want to look back and have our kids someday say, where were you in the fight to save democracy? After voting to impeach former President Donald Trump, he founded the Political Action Committee, Country First. We want Michigan to be able to stand as a bulwark against the, the forces against democracy. That's the opportunity for Michigan to be able to do that in five days. Michigan has an open primary system, meaning registered Democrats can vote in a Republican primary and vice versa. We're just reminding voters to get out and vote next Tuesday. All month, his team has knocked on doors in Grand Rapids and across Michigan. Kinsinger says they've encouraged voters to cast their ballots for pro-democracy Republicans on August 2nd. I definitely think we're changing some minds. When we talk to voters saying that this is an opportunity for us to move past that, um, put a silence to lies, conspiracies, dangerous rhetoric, um, you know, they're very receptive. They're focusing on nine districts in Michigan's down-ballot races, like State House and Senate, which often get less attention, but play critical roles in the electoral process. The anti-democracy forces is, they are focusing on down-ballot races. They recognize it doesn't get a lot of attention, whether it's a county clerk, an election judge, whether it's a state rep or a state senator that can decertify elections. They've done this across the country. Kinsinger says their efforts helped unseat the pro-Trump North Carolina congressman, Madison Cawthorn. We can tell with Madison Cawthorn the number of Democrats that voted versus the amount he lost by. We made the difference. 5,700 Democrats pulled a Republican ballot. He lost by 2,700. Kinsinger is also blasting Democrats for boosting far-right Republican candidates in their primaries in the hopes they would be easier for Democrats to beat in the general election. After November, we will find at least a few of these races where the wrong person ended up winning ultimately. Handpicked by Trump to run for Congress, Gibbs called Trump the greatest president. The Democratic Congressional Campaign Committee is spending nearly half a million dollars airing ads elevating the Donald Trump endorsed John Gibbs over incumbent Congressman Peter Meyer. I have a hard time with a straight face hearing my Democratic friends say, where have all the good Republicans gone? Or saying, we're here to defend democracy and then pulling this kind of thing off. Meanwhile, with the clock ticking until Election Day, they're continuing their efforts until the last minute. Let's do it next Tuesday. Vote in a Republican primary. And after August 2nd, go back to voting for who you would like. But this is our chance to stop the threat to democracy. Congressman Peter Meyer is one of the 10 House Republicans who voted to impeach former President Donald Trump. Kinsinger hopes Meyer wins his primary and the general election. In the newsroom, Byron Tollefson, News 8.